Hello everyone, welcome to the video on the primary effect of digitalis mechanism. Let us understand this concept with the help of a question asked in drug inspector examination. So the question asks, which of the following is the primary effect of digitalis glycoside? Options given are decreased heart rate, increased contraction of myocardial tissue, decreased venous output, increased urinary output. Now this is the question. Now the question asks for primary effect of digitalis glycoside. Now see the action of digitalis glycoside is digitalis glycoside inhibits cardiac sodium potassium pump. When the sodium potassium pump is inhibited, sodium calcium exchanger is also inhibited. Because of this, calcium levels inside the heart increases. The increased calcium is stored in sarcoplasmic reticulum. So whenever there is a depolarization signal, excess calcium releases and that causes increased myocardial contraction. This is the process. Now understand the words. See, card increased force of contraction of heart is known as enotropic effect. Enotropic effect. Increased force of contraction. Whereas increased heart rate is known as chronotropic effect. So force of contraction is related to enotropy. Number of beats or increased rate of contraction is related to chronotropy. If any agent is increasing cardiac force of contraction, it is called, it is known as positive enotropic agent. Now, digitalis glycoside is a positive enotropic agent. So, among the options, the second one says increased force of myocardial contraction. That means positive enotropic effect. This is what is the primary action of digitalis glycoside. Now, look at the option one. It says decreased heart rate. Heart rate is related to chronotropic activity. If any agent which is increasing heart rate, it is called as positive chronotropic agent. If any agent which decreases heart rate, it is called as negative chronotropic agent. Now, see in the question, they ask for primary effect of digitalis. What does it mean? Does digitalis has got any secondary effect? Yes, it has got an indirect effect. Digitalis, the primary action is increasing force of contraction of heart, which is positive inotropic act activity, but it indirectly activates vagus nerve stimulation. When vagus nerve stimulation is activated, parasympathetic system is activated. When parasympathetic system is activated, heart rate is reduced. That is negative chronotropic action. What is the first action? First option, decreased heart rate. Now see, both of them are digitalis actions. Don't get confused. Option A is also digitalis action. Option B is also digitalis action. But option B is primary action of digitalis. Option A is secondary or indirect action of digitalis glycoside. So this is how the competitive examination questions will test you. In normal graduation or B form, you can just write it as digitalis action is increased force of contraction. Whereas in competitive test, they will, they will test your understanding ability, comprehension. Digitalis has got both the actions. It is a very good drug to treat congestive heart failure. Why? See, in one way, it is increasing force of contraction, so cardiac output is increased. In second way, heart rate is reduced. That means oxygen demand, energy demand of heart is reduced. That means with reduced energy demand, heart can come pump more amount of blood out of the heart, increasing cardiac output. So that is the best drug. Look at the option three. Option three says decreased venous output, that is decreasing cardiac output no digital is increases cardiac output so this is how you need to understand thank you for watching this video <clears throat>